Hey everybody, welcome to the recap of the GT Alpha sprint race. Sit back, relax and enjoy this. So fast as I've been. Yep. It's definitely different, isn't it, with no wind. I have to say that. So. Absolutely. You join me on the hot lap, the qualifying lap, for the spa round of GT Alphas. We're in the NSX-R, the Group 2. So it's a, a naturally aspirated mid-engine beast with plenty of torques. So we're running trash control. Make sure that we're getting the traction out of the corners. I've got a Easy up. flat through Eau Rouge. It's got a ton of downforce yeah, and it. its braking is really good right towards the last part Sucks. of the, uh, the braking zone. So you tend to pull up quite quickly. So you just have to get used to that. Coming into the top chicane here, just want to get nice and close to the bollards without hitting them. Keep it close to the left, not running too wide and definitely don't get on the AstroTurf there. You'll see later on, it's a bad thing to do. This is an off camber right hander, very hard to pull it in on the apex, and then an off camber left hander. So, trying to get to the apex and get a good exit is a little bit tricky there, but we managed to do pretty well. Coming down into double left, you need to switch down a gear, try not to scrub off too much speed, and then get back on the gas. So, we didn't do as well as we could have there, but half decent. Lay it on the brakes, but make sure you don't run deep here because otherwise you compromise your exit on this left-hander. Go out as wide as you dare, don't touch the AstroTurf again. Keep it in nice and tight, don't hit the bollards. And then we're at foot flat ground here. Make sure that you got the confidence and definitely AstroTurf is just so bad around here. Two pixels on that sucker and you're going to be going round. So uh, really have to have confidence in the car that it's not going to drift wide, easy flat through this left hander. Now eyes forward and pick the braking point, make sure you don't miss it. Not too early, not too late, bang, perfect. Keep it in second there, maybe should have been first. Going for a good exit, try and get in up the order. <laughs> so you'll join us for the race start now. I'm in P2 behind the legend Sharky, a really fast driver, very hard to even compete with. He's just that level above when it comes to consistency and being able to basically run qualifying laps throughout a race. Ledger's behind and behind him Bonnyvale, two very fast drivers so I'm going to have to really have a good race to try and stay in front of them. Truth starting back in P12 after a bit of a problem on the qualifying lap but we'll see him move up the leaderboard on the left hand side of the screen so keep an eye out for him and we'll see you at the end of the race. Let's get after it. Start, starting at the back, starting at the back. Let's go. Oh, TJ's right in front of me. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know he's prone to mistakes and he's slower, so. Yep. Here we go. I'm starting right in the chicane. Ooh. We'll be like five seconds behind by the time I get to Rouge. Good luck, let's go. I'm already 10 seconds behind, like, the starts in this game are ridiculous. Yeah, that sucks. That's a stupid. Got away with that. So from an okay start, just making a mistake there and Bonneville's basically around the outside here, leaving just enough room. But really I can't contest him down here into the uh, chicane other than go deep and try and hang it around the outside, just not going to work. So we're going to have to settle in for third. After just one lap, one mistake, that was it. 
to how competitive it is, but you can see that Ledger's actually moved back into fourth, so Bonneville got past him pretty quick too. Really just head down, bum up now. Try and stay behind Bonneville and put in some good laps. Slipstream in this car is pretty decent. Oops. It does take away quite a lot of front grip. So pretty decent exit there. Just have to watch exits with the front grip being taken away when you're really close behind. So we're on to lap 8 now. So basically I just followed him for 7 whole laps and this was the first time that I've been able to try and challenge him. This might be our opportunity. Got a good slipstream here, up through Eau Rouge. There's the 205 I was talking about. Yeah buddy, that was Sharky doing a 2059, so gotta go into this corner, try not to go too deep. Do cut off his entrance though. It's just on the inside here. Little tap. Nothing too untoward. Just needed to switch down a uh, gear though, because it was hard fought, that's for sure. Keeping it nice and tight on the lines now. Gotta try and run away. He's still keeping really close to us, just trying to make this double left go as well as possible. Half decent and make a small gap. Hit the bollard so it slows, over slows the car. Like great way if you're a bit too deep, but not when you're trying to pull away from somebody. So that little advantage I got from the double left, gone. Takes about two tenths off the lap time, so while it looks like I'm ahead, see if we can stay ahead. He's dead in my slipstream and be pulling back right into the braking zone here. Not the greatest of exits. Overslowed the car. Oh, he's going to have us down the straight, yeah. So it's kind of inevitable on such a long straight and big slipstream, there's nothing you can do. You can't weave around the track, all you can do is make it difficult for him. So I'm going to plant the car right on the inside here basically on the white line. Just go a little bit deep, he has to over and under. A little bit of contact there, but nothing too untoward, and he's back in front again. We're onto the Astro turf. <laughs> Gotta stop flirting with that stuff, that's for sure. So on lap 9, we're now fighting again for position. So we want to keep nice and close. And I'm thinking, well, if we can keep close over the next couple of laps and keep <laughs> overtaking each other, it's going to be a fight to the end. That's what my giggle is. Then maybe it'll be a case of workout. Well, he can get me on lap 10. I can get him on lap 10. He'll get me on lap 11. I'll get him on lap 12. So that's my thought process right now. Just go a little bit deep following him in. The understeer is real. See it catching me out again there. Sharky's just walked away. Go Truth, go! Sharky's just walked away with us sitting on the 206s and 205s the whole race. We've been pretty consistent until we've been fighting but pretty happy with the lap times. up nice and close there just a little bit of wheel spin on the mid corner so that was a shame over rotated the car decent exit but not good enough 
so I'm not going to be able to challenge him this lap. So I think maybe I should just stick behind him as well as I can, put in some good laps, make a last lap effort. Yeah, just trying Ando for sure. I don't think this lap we're going to be close enough. We've just got to try and keep close for lap 12, really. So pulled up nicely under brakes there. Get a nice entry. The understeer caught us off. <laughs> All my own mistakes. Get off the wall. Pure frustration. Lost two spots. Can't believe it. Threw it away. Can't believe it. Just the way the car spun there and just slid sideways 90 degrees across the wall. It was crazy. Ah, oh, what a shame. What happened to you? Just lost it. Being too eager to keep up. I'll let you go ahead, mate. Why would you let me go ahead? Because you got higher championship points, mate. Think about that much, but okay. Enough to make a difference. Yeah, so we're just working out who to put in front of who now that there's an opportunity for both teammates to work together. Hit the ball. Oh, wait, isn't a feature race reverse top six? Yes. Do you want to be P1? Whatever, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Either whether it's you or me, it'll be good because we can follow each other. So yeah. So we decided that uh, we'd put Truce in front, so he gets uh, higher championship points. Just starting to slow down here. Got the inside, bro. So that means he'll start P2, I'll start P1. Thanks. No worries. Yeah, I just ended up stuck behind those guys too much to make it all the way back. Yeah, it's all good, man. Coming up six places in a fast field. No small feet. So a bit of a shame really. I was having a really good race for a good eight laps. And then just that one mistake on lap nine. Why did I do that? I was just pushing. Trying to stay right with them till the last lap. With your body? Yeah. He was basically towing yeah. me along and then I got in front of him and he um, got me back in a lap. It was really, he likes to go side by side, you know, so it's really hard to, to try and defend because in this car you can kind of go side by side quite easily, but he pinched me on the inside so I go a bit deep, he goes around the back of me, yeah. It was um, good fighting. So there you go, that was the race. It was a bit of a shame that we got past after the first corner, but not too bad. Uh, we managed to put in some really good consistent laps and chase Bonneville down. Unfortunately, just got caught out by understeer and went straight off into the wall. Such a weird thing to end up completely 90 degrees going sideways on the grass with the car not turning either way. So uh, a bit frustrated there, but um, in the end, it meant that Truce could get some more points and I was able to slot in behind, which started me on P1 for the feature race, which I will show you very shortly uh, as a condensed version, so stay tuned.